Highway 106 and 1023. Welcome back to Hour 3 of the Mountain Kubota Afternoon Show. Jeremiah Farmer bringing it to you from inside the Discovery Chevrolet Buick GMC studio. Fish is here with us to talk NASCAR in our weekly Monday evening driver segment. Hello, Fish. What's going on, Jay? Not much, man. Uh, what'd you think of the race yesterday at Kansas? Oh, man, it, uh, <laughs> a lot more drama for a lot more chase contenders, that's for sure. And uh, we were talking... Uh, last week about the struggles that Kevin Harvick had and how we wouldn't be surprised if uh, he made a strong run. I don't think either one of us picked him to win, but sure enough, uh, happy Harvick's back in victory lane and on to another round in the chase. It seems like we see this from him every year in the chase. He gets backed up against the wall and he goes out and wins. And it's really bad news for the rest of the chase drivers because the next round includes Phoenix, which he has absolutely dominated over oh, yeah. the past four or five years. So you got to feel like by Harvick win, and he almost punched his ticket straight to the final four. I heard, I heard an interesting statistic that I never really thought about. Kevin Harvick, since the inception of this elimination format, he's never been eliminated. Hmm. Not one time in one round, he's made it to a, the, the final round every time. Uh, so you, you know that he's going to be there probably once again this year, like you mentioned, with Phoenix. The wild card's going to be Talladega, and that's huge for him to not even have to worry about this weekend. Uh, but, you know, being the driver that he is, he'll, he'll be competitive, but, uh, man, I'm telling you, Talladega's going to be a crapshoot, that's for sure. Well, our two picks to win the race, uh, Matt Kenseth, you picked, he had a, a good run. Uh, my pick pick was Chase Elliott, who really took a beating yesterday after uh, had uh, had a rear end shift and kind of caused a tire rub, and now he is way back, 25 points back. Mm-hmm. He is probably the one who has to win. We are looking at Austin Dillon and Joey Logano kind of tied at that cutoff line. Logano's got the tiebreaker. Denny Hamlin is six point back. Keselowski seven points back, and uh, Chase 25 points back. So what do you think we're going to see from these people who are uh, behind the cutoff line, what kind of driving style are they going to have at Talladega? I mean, Keselowski come out and said yesterday, we're going to win Talladega. So you know he's going to be rooting and routing his way to the front in any way that you can, and that can cause chaos uh, for Keselowski. And he, we, he we've to, seen him do that there in the past. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, he's caused a lot of trouble at Talladega. Kozlowski had had the worst finish uh, of the remaining chasers, which is not some good momentum going to Talladega. He ended up 38th, uh, but I'm also worried about Chase Elliott, like he was talking about, man. He's he's going to have to go out there and do, you know, almost – I mean, he's going to have to win. Let's Pretty just much, say that. Yeah. He'll, he'll have to win. 25 points back is going to be hard to overcome at Talladega when really it's an even play, an even playing field for everybody out there on Sunday. Well, Fish, our, our pick for our four who are going to be eliminated after this round, I picked Austin Dillon, uh, Denny Hamlin, Carl Edwards, and Kurt Busch. Mm-hmm. Um, so far, two of my picks are below the cutoff line in Dillon and Hamlin. Uh, you picked – Austin Dillon, uh, Denny Hamlin, Carl Edwards, and Jimmy Johnson. So uh, you, too, have two people behind the cutoff line. It's been unreal, the drama we saw with equipment failures failures, and uh, things going wrong for really no reason. Drivers not understanding. I mean, we saw that with Kevin Harvick two weeks ago. We saw it with a lot of the Hendrick Motorsports cars yesterday with that back end just sliding out and uh, getting a fender rub for some reason. Talladega is going to prove to be no different, man. I think we're going to see a little bit of everything. You always see a lot of engine failures there. Mm -hmm. You always see big wrecks, and and you always see uh, drivers that aren't in the chase are going to be up there contending for the win. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, this is the great equalizer, so it's going to be drama. That's all I can say. I can't wait to listen to it right here on the highway. Yeah, you'll hear it this Sunday. It is a uh, 1 o'clock airtime, 2 o'clock green flag, Alabama 500 from Talladega. All right, Fish, give us (laughs) your pick. These are the toughest races to pick. Who are you going with? Who's pulling into victory lane? Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Brad Keselowski wins the race on Sunday. <laughs> I, I'm just um, – it's it's going to be interesting to see, but, but we've saw him do it before. We've, yeah. seen him, we've seen him do the Babe Ruth. We've saw Kevin Harvick do it. Uh, Logano's going to be up there as well. Pisky's always great at Talladega, but I'm going to say Keselowski gets up front and stays up front, avoids trouble. Uh, I think it's where you're going to be the safest this sure. weekend. I think it's right at, right at the front. Absolutely, especially when it gets down the nitty-gritty about last 30 laps. Mm-hmm. That's where you want to be. Keselowski's a great pick. He won there earlier 
this year. Uh, you mentioned his teammate, and that's going to be my pick, Joey Logano, who's really in a virtual tie with Austin Dillon right now for the cutoff line. And uh, he's a guy, a fish, who has really shown a lot of strength in chases from years gone by, so yeah. it's not going to suit him well uh, with his temperament to be out of it uh, halfway through the chase. We'll see what happens. You'll hear it here Sunday here on the highway, and you'll hear fish tomorrow from 11 to 2. That's right. If you'd rather watch it in person, I've got Talladega tickets for you tomorrow on the short order line. Well, any way I can get in on that fish? Uh, you'll just have to be listening from 11 <laughs> to 2 to find out. Hey, we're back to the Mountain Kubota Afternoon Show here on the highway.